to the future out in Oregon. As we continue our countdown to kickoff, just two days away now from the high school football season, tonight we feature the Cardinal Stretch Cardinals. Here's BCSN's Ashley Karsten. <coughs> Tough people win. An old saying instilled into a new program by first year head coach Brian Dudash. It's a mindset of, um, you know, always fighting through uh, either you know, it doesn't matter if you're in the classroom, it doesn't matter if you're on the football field, wherever you're at. Just have a mindset of being tough, me mentally and physically tough. A mindset his team has already started implementing despite a change in the coaching staff, something the Cardinals have seen a lot of in recent years. Since freshman year, I had a new coach every year, you know. So, like, I've always been used to change. New plays, new offense, and all the stuff we had to learn. It's, like, difficult for us, but as a team, we're pretty good at going over the diversity. I mean, football is a game of adjustment, so kind of goes a long way in it too. We've been in the weight room a lot more this year, tackling, a lot of tackling drills, stuff like that. I've had three coaches in my four years, so yeah, just about. Has that made it kind of difficult? Um, in ways it's made it difficult, but in some ways it's made it easy. You know, I've made like, I'm, I can trust him more because, you know, going through this th for the third time now, I can, I learned to open up and trust my coaches. Hey. Coach Dudash took over the program back in February after serving as the assistant coach for Gibsonburg last season, a team that's in the same league as Cardinal Stritch. As far as being in the tack and playing against them, uh, so I knew the school, I knew the people, I knew the atmosphere here. And then when I saw them last year playing at Gibsonburg, um, they, had, they had a ton of athletes, a, a ton of kids that can make plays, and I knew they were coming back. So it really appealed to me to, to be a part of this. He's now working to turn around a program that finished last season at the bottom of the tack with a 1-9 and nine record, a change that begins with the players. For us seniors, you know, we've won eight games in our past four years, well, fourth year now, and we want to, like, leave a legacy. We want to start something new. We want to make sure that people know who we are, and, I mean, it starts with us. Our offense this year is very similar to what they did last year, um, but uh, the hard part is some terminology. You know, the way I say it and my coaches um, are, are, are saying things is a little bit different, so that takes a, a learning process. Um, defensively, it's a whole new defense. We're trying to learn a whole new uh, scheme. The tack is uh, kind of right for the pickings, in my opinion. Yeah. So uh, I think th this group is really working and coming together, and I th we have high hopes. We really do. Before I leave, uh, I want to make the playoffs, try to make the playoffs, and uh, like I said, I want to leave a legacy. I want to leave something for the younger classmen to just pick up on, and it ju you just keep handing it down. Definitely don't take us for granted. We have tons of athletes. We just got to work on tackling, get tougher. Focus, make the playoffs, win the tack. That's all I want to do as a team, you know. I think we can do it. No, I don't sleep on us Cardinals. So I got <laughs> In Oregon, I'm Ashley Karsten for BCSN.